One of the first things I made when I got access to a laser cutter was a jointed box. It's a simple project and you're going to learn a lot about laser cutters. And we're going to talk about how to make it right the first time, which requires you to know about kerf. All cutting instruments have a some amount of kerf, and that's the area cut away by a tool. You're going to see on a table saw, it's going to be really easy to see. And lasers have a kerf too, it's just really, really small. If you don't account for kerf, your tolerances are going to be off and parts aren't going to fit. So I created a test with three finger joints and three different kerfs. When we set the kerf at zero, and this is assuming no kerf, the box is going to be way too loose. When you make the kerf too large, here we have it at 0.01, the parts are going to be too tight. For this material, which is 5mm plywood, 0 0.005 as the kerf is what's going to get our best results. So by understanding kerf, you can adjust your joints to be loose or tight. So how can you figure out your kerf? You just need to make some test cuts. I make five one inch squares and circles that are one inch long and one inch in diameter in my cutting software, and then I cut them. You then just take these and measure them and take down your readings. When you take down these readings, you want to average them out over how many pieces you have, so five pieces. And then you want to subtract that from one, which is your gold standard, the size that we set within our design software. The difference between one inch and your measurements is going to be the laser width. If you divide that by two, you're going to get your curve. So how do you make a case? Well, I design my cases using parametric software, which means an online software that allows you just to put in measurements and you're going to get a case. First of all, we'll do a 4x4x4 four by four by four box, and then I will choose finger joints. And then from there, I'm going to go into the extra settings and define my curve size. Here we're going to use 0.005. I'll then download this file and then cut it out on the material with my laser cutter. So when you figure this all out, you'll be able to do a lot of cool projects. And here are some nice things I've made with jointed boxes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. And if you did, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.